calling all my fellow wine lovers of Shanghai. Why, oh why, do we have to pay so much money for a bottle of wine in this country? Well, people say it's all about the luxury tax, but are we having the wool pulled over our eyes as well? And are prices put on there just using that excuse? Well, tonight I'm in Sunan Mansions for a luxury wine tasting, and there's a bottle of wine here worth apparently 5,000 RMB a bottle. So why? Let's find out. The proof is in the pudding, as they say in England. Or in the case of wine, the proof is in the tasting. So, is wine worth the price? Well, I've tasted two wines here. That's why there's not much left, because I've been drinking it. <laughs> but it's a wine tasting, so you have to let me off. This one is 460 RMB. It doesn't smell of a hell of a lot, to be honest. Now this one, 1,200 RMB a bottle. An absolutely phenomenal bouquet. I mean, I can smell marzipan, cherries, chocolate, almonds. However, when I tasted them, it was actually quite an opposite result. This really didn't follow through on the palate as much as this one did. This had quite a beautiful fruit flavor coming through. So really, at the end of the day, I'm wondering, is it just about personal preference? I'm joined by Carlos from the Shibarita store in Sinan Mansions. Now you've got this wine tasting tonight of the Contador wine, which is 5,100 RMB a bottle. Now tell me why we should pay that much money for a bottle of wine. Well, I could always give you some discount, but the... the ah, the, <laughs> you heard it here. <laughs> the, the value for, for, for this bottle is uh, the, the philosophy and the hard work of the winemaker that we can see who is doing the tasting inside. Also, we have a small allocation about not more than 200 bottles per year, per vintage here in, uh, in China. So, and also, well, the price here because of the of taxes uh, increase more than, more than we can have them in, in Europe, right? So that's just one of the wines that you have here in the Shibarita store. What would you say is your cheapest wine and your most expensive wine that you offer here? We have from 100, well, even 70 RMB, you can find some bottle, to yeah, 5,000 RMB, which I know it's a, it's a lot of money. But uh, we need to say it's kind of art. I mean, like uh, the time, the work, and uh, the money that the people have invested in this wine are, are huge. So let me ask you this, Carlos. If I send all my lovely CWTV viewers to you, are you going to give them 10% off their first purchase with you? Of course. Hey! I will. You heard it here. If you come and see Carlos at Sinan Mansions, he's going to give you 10% off your next bottle of wine. So come on down. And also you can taste some incredible Spanish food that we have here and the very best of the olive oil. Thanks for that, Carlos. Thank you very and, much um, for coming And I'd here. like 20% off. OK, I can, <laughs> I can give you a bottle, no problem. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> So it would seem that a lot of the wine sales people in town are quite convincing that we get what we pay for. But then again, that is their job. So my advice to you is either to get educated or know what you like and know what price you like. And do not fear, because it seems there are still good deals to be had under 100 RMB a bottle. So don't be afraid to shop around. Happy drinking.